My daughter Karen and I have been growing red vein sorrel for three years, but never in a permaculture system until now. We absolutely love this edible, as you only have to plant it once, then you just keep on harvesting. It's just so versatile, as it can be grown as a microgreen right through to the mature leaf. We use it at home in salads, stir fries, and even rissoles. And today we are trying for the very first time to bake a red vein sorrel chip in the oven. So we've been outside, we've got our red vein sorrel that we've harvested, looking pretty green and lovely and lush. And what I'm gonna do is imitate how you do kale chips using this plant. Now, we get to use this all the time, it's just growing continuously in our garden. So the method is, apparently, and hopefully we get this right, is to just put on a bit of olive oil. So I've put on like a lid here, full, I'm going to go on another lid. I've got four leaves here. I've actually got a whole bowl to do, but you know, there's no point in showing you guys a whole bowl, right? So let's get this olive oil on here before we rub it in. Another half a lid here. And I'm noticing that the olive oil is really sucking into the leaf as I'm doing that, which is really awesome. And what I'm going to do now is I've got my herb salt. Now, have you seen my recent video on this? It's a parsley herb salt that I made using Himalayan rock salt. It's really awesome stuff. So it just adds even more flavor and nutrition to these. Now what else you could do, you could rub on a bit of garlic powder as well if you wanted to, if you want to get a bit of garlic flavor. That would be really cool. I only just thought of that while I was doing this. But, you know, the general gist is to actually get the flavor of the sorrel because it has a bit of a sweet, sour flavor at the same time. And then we just rub this in get the olive oil right into the skin. It's a pretty flat leaf, so it's easy to do, not like, say, curly kale or something like that. And so, now that that's really rubbed in, I've got to set my oven. Do some more of these, we've got a lot to go. And start making our kale chips, well, actually not kale chips, are they? Start making our red vein sorrel chips. Don't know why I've got kale on the mind, but just got to be careful not to burn them. So the red vein sorrel's all plated up now, ready to go. We've got the oil and salt on there. Into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 175 degrees Celsius, for 15 to 20 minutes. But I recommend you check it every five minutes or so. You really don't want to burn them. Be worried then for a minute, Karen. Karen, they're ready. Whoa. Come over here a bit, darling, so we can get you in the screen here. All right, now look at these. I just want to show everyone on the screen here. Now, I did turn them down to 150 degrees Celsius, and I found that they took about 12 minutes to do. And what I did for the last five minutes, or the last few minutes, was actually just turned off the oven and because I found that they were drying out. Now I've got parchment paper underneath here, which is a baking paper, and you can see they're quite dry and crispy, so we're gonna do the taste test now. You wanna try that one? Yes, Thanks, Let me know what you think. Honest opinion, I'm gonna try one too. Mmm, that's good. Wow, that's exceptional, isn't it? It almost tastes like, like a really, Yummy fish or something. It tastes like almost like a seaweed cracker. Yeah, that's the flavour. Seaweed. Tastes like a seaweed cracker. Probably don't need as much salt next time, but I reckon we try the garlic ones too. Oh, so there you go. Mission successful. We did not burn them. They came out perfect. And they are super, super delicious. Now what I recommend that you guys do, and don't do what I do, unless you just got a pizza tray, get a better tray. Make sure you keep an eye on them because I think they could burn really easily. What do you reckon, Karen? Yeah. Would you like to eat more of those? Mm-hmm. There you go. Dad, we got these too. Yeah, they're red vein sorrel microgreens that grew in a baby leaf on our window. What do you think of those? Mm-hmm. 
That's awesome. They're more for salads and then we'll plant them out into the garden later. Okay. Why not follow the Marty's Garden Story set in our small urban backyard garden in Australia. Watch how we grow, teach and create simple healthy meals that you can easily implement at home too. Currently we have three videos coming out a week and we look forward to seeing you there.